What's up, YouTube family? So I wanted to talk about my interactions with bees this last year. I was at my dad's house one day, and I had this um, fold-out chair that I would sit out on the porch and read my Bible every day. And one afternoon, I went out there, and this bee comes around and just would not leave me alone. And then there was another bee, and then another bee. <laughs> And um, so I got up and I just, I don't remember if I was just watching um, to see, you know, what, where these bees were coming from or what, but before I knew it, my entire chair was covered in bees. Not only that, but the doorknob to the house was also covered with bees. And um, I just thought it was really strange. Like, where are these beads coming from? And why are they only on this chair that I was sitting in and on the doorknob where I had been going in and out from the house? And I just knew um, because I had been having so many experiences with nature over the last few years before this, that it was a sign from God that um, he was with me. Not only that he was with me, but... Um, that he had chosen me for something. And um, I knew that bees represented um, royalty, they represent um, teamwork, they represent wealth and prosperity, like it says in the Bible, um, the land flowing with milk and honey. Bees create honey in abundance, in, in, in a large quantity. Um, you know, they have a queen bee, so they, um, represent royalty as well. I had another instance um, a few months ago where I went to go pick up an order and when I got back in my car there was this bee just like on my hair and I was like what? So, so I like had to stop the car and let the bee out and, and then it happened th like there was three bees and I didn't see them and they were like on my jacket or on my hair and I had to stop the car through you know and roll down the window or open the door um, to get these bees out of the car three times um, in that instance and that was just another confirmation from the Lord and then just recently the bee on the windshield when I was um, following what the Lord had been showing me so I knew it was confirmation so if you have been having encounters with bees, um, this is a sign that God is with you. Not only that, but you, he has chosen you to do something. So pay attention to nature. He uses nature, birds, um, even the wind. Um, there were many times when I was sitting out reading my Bible out at my dad's and um, I would be praying and the wind would just start blowing and I could feel the spirit of the Lord over that prayer and over what I was meditating on at that moment. It was so supernatural. Um, and you know when it is the Lord, like there is just this supernatural sense about the air, about everything around you, the feeling that you're having, um, you know, when you're praying or when you're seeking the Lord and you know that it's him. So, um, bees are going to be a, a sign. Hold on just a second. So I asked the Lord, like, what, um, what about these bees? What is it about these bees? And, um, he took me to first Kings 14, 14 and, um, I was like, oh, that's weird, 1414, because that's 28, and he had me move here on the 28th, but 14 means something. I forgot to look it up, um, but I've looked it up before. Anyways, I'm going to read it to you. Moreover, the, the Lord will raise up for himself a king over Israel who shall cut off the house of Jeroboam to this day. This is the day. What? Even now, for the Lord will strike Israel as a reed is shaken in the water. He will uproot Israel from this good land which he gave to their fathers and will scatter them beyond the river because they have made their wooden images provoking the Lord to anger and he will, rate, and he will give Israel up because of the sins of Jeroboam who sinned and who made Israel sin. 
that is 14 through 16. But in 14 it says, Moreover, the Lord will raise up for himself a king over Israel who shall cut off the house of Jeroboam. This is the day. What even now? So the Lord is saying that he has raised up another. He has raised up another person in the body of Christ who is willing to lay down their life for the Lord. And one of those people is going to be you because you have consecrated yourself. You are working on this thing that the Lord has asked you to do. You are willing to, um, to do what he's asked you to do. You've been obedient in following God and you want to bring people to Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. So let bees be a sign, uh, but pay attention to all things. You know, God speaks in so many different ways and we cannot box God in into one specific area. So open your mind and um, let the Lord speak to you um, and pray for discernment because there are familiar spirits who will try to come in and speak to you through things um, and it is not God. So you need to be careful of that. So um, make sure you get confirmation of these things and pray and seek the Lord on these things and let him speak to you through his word. The Bible is the best way to hear from the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, I love you all with the love of Christ. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.